Hey guys, today we're going to go over the ECCS relay functions and how to determine whether yours is working properly or not. So we're going to start out with this SR harness. It's going to be similar to all the Nissan engines, CA18 and the RBs. So what we're going to look at here is this is your ECCS relay. Now, I've put a little color code chart here just for wire purposes and everything. So we're going to look here. There's going to be two red wires. Those are both going to be a 12 volt battery constant. That's going to be fed by the ring terminal that we have you install on your starter motor. That should be also hooked up to the battery. Now, the other wires are going to be your red black wire, which is a switch ground from the ECU. What happens is it's part of a startup procedure where the ECU sees ignition power and then it produces a switch ground on this red wire with a black tracer and that turns on the relay. The relay then provides power to this black wire with the white tracer. Now what this black wire does is it splits inside the harness and it powers two additional pins on the ECU and it also powers items like your cam angle sensor. So the RB motors are basically the same. The colors do change though. So instead of the red being a 12 volt battery constant, the white black will be your 12 volt. And that again is gonna come from the ring terminal just like the SR20 and the CA18. Orange is gonna be your switch ground provided by the ECU, which would have been the red with a black tracer on this harness. And then the power output will stay the same color and that's going to be black with a white and that's again going to supply a secondary power to your ECU and the cam angle sensor. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the JZ variants. So the JZ engines are similar but the main difference is instead of the ECU providing a switch ground it's going to provide a switch 12 volt. So what we'll do here is we'll just take a look at this relay. So you're going to have red which is going to be your battery constant you're going to have brown, which is going to be a chassis ground. You'll have the orange with a black tracer, which is the trigger wire from the ECU. Now, this works the same way the Nissans do, except for instead of supplying a ground, this is going to supply a positive 12 volt from the ECU. When the relay turns on, it's going to supply this black with a red tracer. That's going to power the additional pins on the ECU, and it'll also power certain things like idle motors, depending on what Jay-Z harness it is. Now what we'll do is we'll talk about the fuel pump relay found on the Jay-Z's. So a lot of, we get a lot of questions about it. So what happens is on the Jay-Z motors, a lot of the OEM cars have a fuel pump controller that's part of the ECU wiring. On everyone's swaps, they usually remove it. So this turns on with ignition power. So if your fuel pump turns on when you key your ignition on and you have a Jay-Z harness, chances are everything's okay. So what we'll do is we'll look at this. Black orange is gonna be your 12 volt ignition power. Blue is going to be the output to activate the pump. Now in certain cases like an E36, this will be a 12 volt output but on most other harnesses, this blue wire is going to provide a ground to your chassis. Now the other two wires on this one are two brown wires which are ground. If it was an E36, then one of these brown wires would be a black with an orange as well. Now that should pretty much sum up for you guys how to test the relays that are found on our harnesses. And I hope it clears up any questions about the ECCS functions and the fuel pump functions on the Jay-Z harnesses.